Welcome back, State of the K2 Survivors. This is Kung Grexus Prime coming at you with the base siege guide for Lethal Zone. All right, guys, this is going to be a thing that I'm going to have to do from this point going on forward. There's been a lot of stuff that's been going on through the through the last few months with my content, my long format content. Whenever I do 100 day challenge or whenever I did these long formatted videos that everybody enjoys and I enjoy making. Uh, there's been uh, certain content creators out there that are taking my, some of the information that's in the, my videos, turning it into their own thing, using the same exact lingo I use, and making money, and also being praised for being you know the greatest thing since sliced bread. That needs to stop. So this is my shot across the bow to those content creators that are doing that, and uh, also I'm I'm gonna. Make it so that that can't be done again. So from this point forward, when I make content and I have a strategy in my video that's upcoming, I'm going to put this forefront video out there. And if that, if those particular content creators want to play this game with me, then I can take legal action against them at this point because they're the ones that are are taking all the credit for something that that, that they're just 100% plagiarizing. You know what I'm saying? Like using my exact descriptions, my exact wording and verbiage. All right. Now I use certain words, guys. You know, I, I use certain words that that are that are not even words. For example, verberation. That's not a word. It isn't. I know that. There's a reason why I do things, guys. There's a method to my madness. So this is a shot across the bow to those content creators. Do not play this game with me, because the next time you do. I'm coming after you now I'm with this guide guys there's two things I want to talk to you guys about one is I consider it a cheese because it is a glitch I talked about this months ago as I made a verification video for update 21 we're in update 23 and the glitch is still valid right it is it, it's basically the base uh, siege glitch so what you do there's a, there's gonna be a video uh, that, that I've made and I'm gonna put the actual picture of the video on there for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like i'm also going to put a link to that video on the description uh, uh below and on the pinned comments it's a short little video explaining to you guys exactly what i'm going to tell you right now and that is whenever the beast a base siege happens what you need to do is go to one of your outposts switch one of your characters to whoever you want Wait for the timer for the base siege to go, whether it's 45 seconds to three minutes. When it finishes, go to your base, collect your influence, and move on. You might have to kill a zombie. You may not. At the end of the day, that is the easiest way to get rid of sieges in Lethal Zone because you guys know that the AI is kind of janky whenever there's like juggernauts and, and plague bloater juice on the ground. So like that, like what you guys will probably see in one of these videos, you'll see the explosion and the, the computer will sit there and roll on the juice until they get infected. And then either one of the zombies execute them or they die from the plague, from the plague itself. So, you know, I've lost, uh, you know, I've, I won't say I lost, I've, I've lost in the past. Like when I, when I used to mod and play uh, modded uh, versions of the game, you know, I've lost it that way. I've also almost lost a few uh, members of my community as I explained in, in my playthrough. Um, to a siege because they were doing that it was just rolling in place so how do you combat that is one of those ways that I just told you you do the base siege glitch or you do this other method it's a valid strategy but it's gonna require you to have certain things in your base number one you have to have pretty high caliber weapons equipped on every single one of of your NPCs that are running around. What I mean by NPC is non-player characters, or like your other characters that you're not playing. They have to have a high caliber weapon installed on their back. For example, you know anything higher than a 5.56 round would be ideal. You can put a weapon break of any type on those weapons that they're defending with to increase the penetration and damage that the that the that those NPCs are going to do while they're firing. The next thing you need is some kind of guard outpost. Like, for example, a, a tower from a builder, that'd be ideal. The Red Talent Tower or one of these bases like this one right here that, uh, that, 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 that I have playing in the background that's from the playthrough that has a built-in tower. And you want to use a line of sight of that tower as your runway. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to stay at the very edge of the circle. And you're going to do a lot of dodging. So you're going to require to have some stems, rather it's sodas, rather it's stems, rather it's potato chips, whatever it is. And you're going to run around and let them kill all the big heavy duty zombies, like the plague pharaohs, like the juggernauts. You got to be good at dodging. You got to play goat. The only thing you're going to do is run around and make sure no screamers and no plague uh, uh, bloaters are running into your base. That is going to be the strategy. And if you do that, then you'll have this particular result. As you can see here, this is going to be on my next playthrough. And uh, I had to put out this video this way because, again, I got to look out for, for the people that are, that are doing what they're doing. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of the video. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day night. Light little peace. Code Rexes. Checking out.